Hello everybody, it's Charlie again. I am currently playing Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And yes, once again, 60 frames per second, 1080p, glory. I just want to see how great it looks. I'm sure that the closer you get to the third game, since the graphics got better every year, this should be a hell of an improvement, so can't wait. So yeah, let's get into this. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed, 1324. Interesting. They put true events in the thing. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. This is the best Uncharted game ever made, so. What's going on? Holy crap. Those graphics, though. Yeah, that's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Hmm. Beautiful snowy terrain, but in the worst circumstances. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh shit, I forgot about this. This is crazy shit. <laughs> Nate! Nate! Yeah, so he's trying to get up there, but uh, I don't see it happening for whatever reason. It's gonna be a tough one. Okay, I kind of remember climbing this. Ooh, a rock in a hard place. Mm, shit. I remember falling off this thing quite a few times. Yeah, there we go, mate. Keep going. Keep it going. Oh, snaps. Holy crap. What the? Uh, yeah, it just starts off really action-packed and terrifying. You guys will see why this is a favorite of all Uncharted games. It's just very well balanced, very well made, and uh, in 60 frames, 1080p. It's a fucking dream. Why does rocks keep landing on me, man? That's bullshit. All right, Nate, come on, you can make it. <laughs> Nate, oh. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, there we go. Yeah. 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 I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I don't see anywhere to hold. I probably shouldn't start swinging there. You guys see what I'm supposed to grab onto? Okay, Nate. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, okay, there we go. Holy shit. I can barely see where you have to grab onto. That's why this is so scary. Ugh. Holy shit, Nate. What kind of a mess that you get yourself into? I would be literally shitting my pants at this point. <laughs> well, okay, you can... Okay, this is the first game where they let you kind of move the camera. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, get up there, Nate. Get up there. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, can you guys imagine this shit? Like, if this is real? No, Nate! Oh! <laughs> you give me a fucking heart attack, bro. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you shit! I make some progress and then you just fucking pull me down to grand zero. <laughs> yeah, get up on that pipe, Nate. Nate. Yeah, and this looks beautiful. I mean, I want to check out the graphics and everything, but um, I don't want to fall at the same time, so... Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, really? Oh, please. Oh, please. No, 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 no! <laughs> this actually looks like it's gonna break. Oh, neat. 
kind of a mess did you get yourself into? What the hell? I'm confused as to what they want. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they just wouldn't let me reach the ladder from that certain... Ooh! You better run, bro. You better run, bro! start a catch after there. Just drinking a beer, you know. Nothing major. Getting a little tipsy before we head out. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? The mm -hmm. client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Adam, listening. Okay. You're not gonna like this. Oh no. Mmm, hey, Marco Polo's treasure. Hear me out, no. Flynn. We both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. Can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. <laughs> Speak of the devil, here she comes. Oh, dang. I remember her. What? Chloe Fraser. Gorgeousness. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I would, say, I would say yes right away. I would not mind good. working with her. I bet. Alright, look. I've got it all figured out. And she drinks beer too? Oh hell yeah. Loving it so far. Alright, back to the story. In the courtyard. From there we scale up the wall, mm -hmm. run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask. <laughs> Makes it sound easy. Go ahead. But that's it. An oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we, that's why we tracked you down. Mm. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. Oh, really? 13th century Latin, mate. Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Guys, look at Lafayette the fucking graphics on this motherfucker. Treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Even the yes, lighting is better. We were able to work like by it. far. Unfortunately, the, the colors. <laughs> so that it should not fall into the wrong hands. I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. Mm. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. Mm -hmm. Now he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere oh. out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that... Oh, I get it. Look <laughs> at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The it's light pretty badass. The great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside Kublai the Kublai Khan is Genghis Khan's son. The site Another famous the emperor. So... Conquer or one of the two, I don't know. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Of course. Mr. Wade. You in then? Yeah, I'm in. Get that beer up. Yeah, sounds fun. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, that's not the words I would use, but. 
I like his outfit better in this one too. It's just part, part two is so. Ooh, we're back to reality. Yeah, part two is just too good. This just looks. I hope they don't expect me to fight in this condition. I don't need CPR, CBD, CTB, everything, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, come on. I just need some. I just need some. Obviously, the snow effects are a little dated, but it still looks pretty good. What? Underneath. Nate, underneath. That tree's gonna fall on your head. Holy crap. Everything is just collapsing around me. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, guys, I recommend this um, memorable trilogy. Remastered. It's very worth playing. I'm. I have no complaints. Pretty impressed so far. Ooh, wait a minute. There's a treasure here and a gun. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, don't forget to pick those up. First treasure trophy. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah. Some ammo. Ugh. My leg. My hand, my back. Oh, I gotta shoot that. Of course it's locked. Yep. It's always locked. Well, we know what to do. Alright. Open sesame. Oh, reload? No, I just shot once. I don't think I need to reload yet. He's alive! Oh. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> oh, I guess he knows these guys. They're probably the ones that got him into this. I literally don't remember this game. I think I did one run through of it years ago on the PS3. So it's not like I'm, I know what to anticipate or anything. This is all a surprise to me right now. Just the best way to play, right? It's like your first time all over again. That's another why, reason why people liked it, it's just the, the backgrounds are so much better in this one. You know, but snow in the backdrop, some people go crazy. Speaking of which, it's snowing like crazy where I'm at. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but holy shit! Talk about a winter. Is that oil and shit? Alright, so it looks like we're going to be heading on back then. Back over here. There's definitely no way out of there, so... Let's get going, Nate. That's his demon voice. <laughs> There's got to be something I missed back here. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That works. Where am I going, though? Oh, shit. Oh. That's unexpected. I really thought I was gonna just fucking die right there. I've been lucky in this playthrough, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Good thing he can climb anything. The parkour king. Who's the parkour king? Ooh. Night. Is he the parkour king or the guy from Assassin's Creed? You guys let me know. Oh. She's like. The fuck. Dude. Oh, come on. Wake up. Wake up, Nate. Okay, daydream time. I guess we're about to do that mission. Every time he fucking falls. <laughs> hmm? Who is it? Ooh, Hello. cutie pie. What's up, beautiful? Uh, Dang. Mm. Well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway. You haven't exactly made yourself 
Easy to find. Mm -hmm. I'm making yourself easy. Oh, <laughs> you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, <laughs> your relationship with Flynn is strictly yes. professional. Yeah, me. Really? Most get it. No, oh, get it. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to. Oh, this game has just gotten ooh, layers better. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Sounds Never. good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, he can't know about us. Mm. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> what a way to start the trip. Am I right? <laughs> Sorry, I sound like a creeper. I need to stop. I need to stop. Wake up, Nate. Wake up. Come on. <laughs> Holy shit, what the hell? What? Okay, whatever. Like, that's not even the way I went. Where the fuck are we going then? Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I had a feeling it's gonna be something ridiculous. What a surprise. I really thought that I was I was already beyond the danger, but this game does not give you a break. Hey, climb, what the fuck? Even the fire effects look better. I may be exaggerating a tad, because they didn't look that bad in the PS3. Ooh. Oh shit, scared the shit out of me just now. What the fuck? Okay, okay. We're back in the tundra. Uh. Oh, movie time. Already found a treasure? What the hell? That's awesome. Put some ice on that thing, man. They stopped the bleeding. about to perform super cool with the statue. No, that's stupid, that's stupid. <laughs> Istanbul, Turkey. Four months early. Sure you're up for this. Feel a lot better if I had a gun. I'm pretty sure that's in Turkey. Won't right? need Istanbul. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, then we'll lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. Damn, she's looking really hot. I'm sorry, quarantine has me just messed up. Time to investigate. Damn, look at that water. Well, sewage water, but still. So. This way. <laughs> so, what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. You cocky bastard. <laughs> you cocky yeah. bastard. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember oh. that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. 
I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. She's she's literally the reason why they don't worry is because she's literally Nathan Drake's like female version. She's pretty badass. See you on the other side. She actually has her own game too. Ooh. <laughs> so am I. But yeah, she's pretty awesome. She has her own game. Okay, breaking and entering, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end it here since I've been going on for a while. I will be doing a second playthrough, so I hope you guys look out for that. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, 